Odisha, a shrine of spirituality. Odisha, a land of life-affirming biodiversity. Odisha, a pilgrimage for culture and crafts. A biodiversity that is threatened with extinction by multiple factors. A challenge squarely met by the local communities. An amazing conservation effort by the very ordinary citizens determined to save their land and life. This has made Odisha a contemporary core of community conservation. As the dawn breaks on the village Maneshwar in the Sambalpur district of Odisha, spiritual chants rent the air. The thousand-year-old temple rings with the praises to the Lord. The presiding deity here is Kurma, turtle, an incarnation of Lord Vishnu, the Lord of Conservation among the Hindu Trinity. Unlike other temples, the worship does not end with a stone god. The real turtles are objects of worship in this temple. After calling the gods through his chants, the priest is now busy calling out the turtles in the thousand-year-old temple pond. His prayers are answered here. The turtle god appears in flesh and blood in response to the priest's call. This god in flesh and blood is fed with the day's offerings by the priest. प्रथम प्रहर जो पूजाटा हुए खिचड़ी खावा को दिया जाए से बेला महापुर दिन दिन खिचड़ी भोग हुए कोई से बना सी शांति बरसा दिन में दो एक खरा दिन में जंती रहंत ए बंदर रहंती यदि बसी वर्षा हुए नदी बढ़ी आसले बंद हेड समान हो जाए बढ़ी पानी से भासी जाते नदी को नई रूप फिर चली आस मंदिर बंद को वेन नट बी फेड बै द टेम्पल द टर्टल्स लिव ऑफ प्लांगटन्स डेट्रिटस मटेरियल एंड अदर एक्वाटिक प्लांट्स इन द सरीन एनवायरमेंट ऑफ द टेम्पल पॉन्ड नो वन बॉदर्स दम दे फील टोटली सेफ हियर Their coexistence with the village community is completely harmonious. They both share the water from the pond without harming each other. This is the true essence of community conservation. People and animals living together 
with respect for each other, living and letting live. In the Champeshwar village of Katak district, the scene is similar but more fascinating. An awesome sight of dozens of turtles competing with each other and rushing to feed on the bhog, temple offerings, is a daily ritual here. In Champeshwar, the concept of living together takes far deeper dimensions. As the turtles eat, the temple priest bathes within a meter's distance. He walks among them, and the turtles are neither disturbed nor bothered. They are happy eating the rice from the temple and let people and animals bathe alongside. As the turtle population elsewhere dwindles, in Maneshwar and Champeshwar, they increase by the year. A result of one of the finest conservation efforts. Not prompted by outsiders or the government, but founded on people's faith and belief by local spiritual traditions. Another morning, another worship and the time for the priest to come and call out for the turtles. And there will surely be many turtles answering his call. Because in Maneshwar and Champeshwar, turtle population will never dwindle. They live under the cover of protection offered to them by the community. Village Buguda wakes up to another morning. The cattle are out to graze in the nearby hills. The ducks take to water. And goat herds drive their flock to their pastures. This village looks like any other, though a bit more picturesque than most villages. But soon you're bound to look at this village with a sense of wonder as some of the proudest black bucks strut across your sight. How can a farming community, to which a proliferation of deer and antelopes tolls a death knell, welcome these animals in their midst? These animals are known to destroy all the crops overnight and leave the farmers high and dry. 
but the images in Buguda village offer a completely different story. You're presented with an unbelievable sight where farmers and herders live cheek by jowl with the black bucks. Almost reminding of the sights of African parks where the Maasai pastoralists drive their cattle amidst a host of wildlife. However, unlike Africa, Buguda is a farming village. Raising rice is the major food and livelihood option for Buguda's population. When the young seedlings of paddy come up, they make a great fodder for the black bucks. The time for the paddy seedlings coincides with the birth of the black buck kids. The young kids are voracious eaters of the paddy seedlings. People understand this phenomenon very well. But in a very sophisticated way, they clearly distinguish between the black buck grazing and the grazing by the village cattle. Apart from allowing the bucks to graze on their farmlands, some farmers have even given away their own land to create water facilities for the animals. How has this cohabitation been possible? Since when has it been like this here? This extraordinary culture of coexistence is almost a century old. Documentary evidences trace this relationship between black bucks and the Buguda community to 1914. About 20 villages that surround Buguda partner in this extraordinary community conservation. This faith-based bonding raises it above a routine conservation effort. It acquires a spiritual dimension. This bond of belief created a community imposed prohibition on the killing of the black bucks. The village council undertook an extensive awareness program. Simultaneously, they also instituted a sophisticated system of penalties for poachers and providing incentives for the conservers. Consequently, from the year 2000, within eight years, the population of black bucks grew from 100 to 1600 an amazing 16-fold increase. This is a conservationist's dream. 
The Buguda community achieved this without fencing the Black Buck area as a normal national park would do. Nor was anyone displaced from the area. There were no conflicts and no heartburns. <laughs> In fact, most of the members of the Buguda community have become wildlife experts of sort. They have studied the behavior pattern of the bucks and understand their way of life very well. However, the community did pay a price for their passion. About 60% agricultural land has gone fallow, partly because of the damages created by black bucks. But none of this has deterred the determination of the community to protect black bucks. The efforts continue and their numbers keep swelling. In 2004, the Bhetnoi Bali Padar area under Aska and Buguda Ranges of South Ghumsur Forest Division was awarded the first Biju Patnaik Award for Wildlife Conservation. That they got the state recognition for the work they had done unselfishly over a century was the crowning glory for these communities. But conservationists, however, feel that this is not enough. The sacrifices of these communities must be not only recognized and rewarded, but also a constant incentive for them must be institutionalized so that they would feel that they are not alone in this remarkable conservation effort. Already they are facing the heat of the neoliberal policies of the government. The newly rich urban elite are coming and buying away the lands from the rural poor. The lands that are fallowed are sold away by the Buguda community. This is an unjust order by itself. But what could compound this new landowning class is that they might not share the same values as the Buguda community towards black bucks. And the century-old conservation effort of this community should not be jeopardized. On the other hand, as the pressure builds up, the tranquil Buguda community should not be pushed into an avoidable conflict. They should be compensated in whatever manner one can. <laughs> Providing proper irrigation facility is seen as one solution for the crop loss they suffer. But the most important solution can be the declaration of the area as a community reserve. That would be the fitting tribute 
to a unique community that has upheld the sterling human values towards animals and has blazed a dazzling trail for the rest of the country. It is the month of November. As the gentle waves of Bay of Bengal orchestrate a gentle tune of romanticism, it is time for the Olive Ridleys to engage in their own passionate mating. The love and care they exhibit while mating with one another can put the humans to shame. This is the beginning of a fascinating cycle in the Olive Ridley's procreatory life. The next magnificent stage of this cycle is witnessed nearly two months after the mating. One fine day, an army of female turtles march towards the sea coast to stage one of the greatest spectacles of nature. As the turtles gingerly enter the beaches, their vulnerability is at the most heightened state. They will now lay eggs, each turtle up to 100 to 150 eggs, which they have to defend against natural enemies such as birds of prey, dogs. But by far the biggest of their enemies are the humans, who have the great power either in protecting or destroying their eggs laid with love and precision by the turtles. It is an issue of trust. The turtles repose great trust in the humans and lay hundreds of thousands of eggs in a small area of the beach. Once they have laid their eggs, they depart to the sea. They have now no control over their progeny growing in the freshly laid eggs. Will this trust be kept or betrayed? That has been the question before the coastal communities here. For quite a long time, the lure of money overcame the question of ethics and values, and turtle eggs were regularly destroyed or sold away by the people. Not anymore. The battle for human values has been won now, and the destroyers have become protectors. Bhartan jo ame dekhu thi lo koi jo lo koi naani ke onda khau thi lo bhi kiri kuri thi lo koi unko ame samas samasthe unko sachchetan kari lo je to ame koi jo onda ira viral prajati ro apu khai khaiya chhuiya dhariya variya banana. Shiman ko lo koi ko baram bar koi ki sachchetan kariyo. Amu bahut madhe agu aswida madhe hi chhi lo koi nengaro. Ote niti dinya abhyasre pori na thei thila se onda khai bata. धीरे धीरे से मन कन्विंस कला पर हम को से बुझाप तीन चार वर्ष समय लगी जो जो मैंने अंडा खाऊ वर्तमान से लोक मैंने बर्तमान आम सहित मिसिक से परेशर भारसम्य रक्षा करने कईजी मान वंश वृद्धि करने पकेट्स अफ द फोर हंड्रेड एंड एट्टी किलोमीटर लंग ओडा कोस्ट लाइन 
a secure future for its marine life is now being woven by the coastal communities. It is a knotty existence for the marine life and many amending needs to be done to keep them alive and safe. The vast bay is a source of livelihoods to hundreds of thousands of fishers. Ocean is their mother. Hence, it is their spiritual belief that they should not disturb the chain of life in the ocean. Olive Ridleys are the most precious of the marine life for these communities. These sea turtles, an endangered species, have made the Odia beaches as their ideal nesting grounds. Rushikulia Rookery, where this film was made, is the third largest rookery in the world for olive ridley nesting. This rookery near the Ganjam district is also home to an amazing conservation effort by the local communities. Fishers from four nearby hamlets are engaged in this extraordinary conservation effort. This was not the scene until 10 years ago. Around 1999, some youth from Purnabandha village formed a Sea Turtle Conservation Committee and started creating awareness around turtle conservation. As the turtles crawl back to the sea after laying eggs, somebody had to make sure that the eggs were safe. This task was taken up by the Rushukulia Sea Turtle Conservation Committee. They mapped the turtle nesting grounds found where the eggs had been laid, brought together children and the young people around, explained the significance of turtles to their community and embarked upon their conservation program. This needed a huge consciousness building effort and an exemplary community commitment. Who would want to trade a tactile monetary benefit coming out of the turtle egg trade with a moral commitment to save the hapless turtles from extinction? But the Rushikuli community did exactly that. It showed an extraordinary commitment and determination to save the turtles. As the D-Day drew close for the eggs to hatch and the young turtles to emerge, there was a feverish activity around the beaches. The children and the young flocked around and marshaled their plans. And then the magic moment arrived. An egg here and an egg there hatched. Even before one realized Hundreds of thousands of turtles peeped out of their eggshells and the entire beach had transformed itself to a sea of crawling baby turtles. For those who could not make it on their own, the helping hands of the conservation brigade were readily available. Dozens of children with baskets in their hand combed the beach, looked for the younglings who could not make it on their own, picked them up slowly and gently. And then, in 
exactly as they were told, released them 10 meters away from the sea. The gentle waves of the sea washed over them, took them in their embrace and transported them into the unfathomable, caring depths of the ocean. सेबुटु आमे देखिलु जे संख्या एत्ते संख्या रे कोइचो आमो उपकुळ को आसी अंडा दोचंती एडा उड गर्वर कथा आर सुरक्षा आमे देबानी दबो की टुडे रुशकुलिया हैज बिकम द न्यू ट्रेजर्ड नेस्टिंग ग्राउंड फॉर ऑलिव रिडली अ प्लेस दे नो दे विल बी रिसीव्ड विथ लव टेकन केयर ऑफ एंड गिवन अ जेंटल फेयरवेल इनटू द वार्म ओशन Together, turtles and the young people of Rushikulia are scripting a fascinating tale of community conservation in Odisha. It is like any other morning in Pakidi. A harsh sun glares down the village Ambuabadi and the people go about their normal chores. As people keep filling water pots, you naturally assume that they are addressing their thirst. until you see a most unexpected guest advancing towards the water when one understands that an entire community spends hours catering to the thirst of the peafowls in their neighborhood one is filled with a sense of amazement you are in pakidi forest block in the ganjam district of odisha where the peafowls find a spring in their steps The love of this community for peafowls is not accidental. As a matter of fact, the peafowls of Pakidi are the children of the community. Years ago, the Pakidi community planted their forest with great dedication and love. As the forest grew, it became the home for thousands of peafowls. The community responded by forming Ganjam Mayur Suraksha Samiti reflecting their determination to protect these welcome guests Soon the peafowls moved beyond the boundaries of the forest and walked into the lush agricultural lands of Pakidi and started devouring the crops The farmers had an awesome response to this. They did not resent that the birds were eating away their harvest. They graciously decided to allow the peacocks their share of nature's bounty and argued that they did not impact their yields. Ajan jetti khaile setti hochi ta. Ajan mon dekhu ji, ame chashi loko dhanna lagai chanti. Jodi chadhai तेर पचास टा खाई दीजिए आज कि कम तो से देख यू किलो देोमीटर जी 
This wonderful generosity of the village communities extended further when they found out that the reason peafowls were wandering into their village was their need for drinking water. हमरो प्राय 2000 साल न के बहुत खरा हला से खरा समय रे से माने सब गांव ग्राम भितरु सब पळी आसले आसला परे कोठे कर बारी आंडी कोठे इंदी आसी रे सब पानी पीला परे हम सब लखे कोलो पानी हम अभाव जगो से माने खाइवार असुविधा हो जोले हम ने निजे पीला न कहि से पहाड़ ऊपर हांडी रखी गिर हम सब तंगु पानी रे देवार the peacocks watched from their tall perches the astonishing sight of men and women, young and old, fetching pots of water with a lot of effort. Birds gratefully accepted this offering of love. In 2006, the Mayur Suraksha Samiti was honored with Odisha's most prestigious Biju Patnayak Award for Wildlife Conservation 2006 which is a state-level recognition of outstanding efforts taken for wildlife conservation. This race to higher recognitions would not make the community complacent as it discussed wider issues. <laughs> There was a consensus that the conservation of the entire forest should be on their goal and not just the conservation of pea fowls, however brilliant and colorful they might be. <laughs> This unique bonding of man and the bird was just the beginning of a greater effort at conservation. People saw beyond trees and peafowls and understood that if the entire habitat becomes worthy of life, their efforts might address isolated issues. आजरो ये जो समिति आमर जो मौर्य सुरक्षा समिति गठन करा जे आमर समिरो ये समिति किमिति कार्यकारी भविष्य रे हबो मौर्य सुरक्षा हबो जातीय पक्षरो संरक्षण हबो आमे ता प्रति किमिति आकृष्ट होई आमे गांव वासी एवं आखो भाग समस्ते पी फाउल्स हैड बिकम अ सिंबल ऑफ देयर लार्जर ऑब्जेक्टिव विद द एक्टिव सपोर्ट ऑफ द फॉरेस्ट डिपार्टमेंट द पाकिडी कम्युनिटी हैज ब्लेज्ड अ यूनिक ट्रेल a trail that leads to a notion of conservation with profound philosophical undertones. Pakidi community sets up for us a shining example of how to expand our sense of conservation to encompass not just trees and animals, but life itself. Uttam Nayak begins her work day with a prayer to an unusual god, god of forests, Bhadu Kund. 
Most women of her age and class are happy to lead a humdrum life of cooking, bringing up children, wood gathering, struggling for a livelihood. But Uttam Nayak's life spills beyond these routines. She has shouldered the responsibility not just for her family, but for the large forest around her. An extraordinary responsibility for an extraordinary woman. The morning prayer over, Uttam is on her way for her protection duty. This forest is her extended universe, a universe that she must protect and preserve, since on this the existence of her entire community is based, dependent upon the huge biodiversity it offers. Every single need of the community is met by this biodiversity. Food, fodder, fuel wood, small timber, even the toothbrush. Every morning when Uttam brushes her teeth, she thanks the forest. And from that moment onwards, her engagement with the forest begins. The breakfast she eats is a roasted brinjal, cooked on a fire made from twigs gathered in the forest. Eaten mixed with tamarind juice, again from the forest. Uttam Nayak is one of the millions of Dalit residing in the vast forest belt of Nayagarh, Odisha. Unlike many other Dalit and Adivasi women and men, Uttam does not like to rest in a state of victimhood. She wants to fight the forces that threaten her forest and it's the life of their community. She is one of the prominent members of a community's forest protection team. ताके the 
बसिक सब कमिटी कर मौजा भितर आम बसिक सब कमिटी कले जाए आम जंगल पायल कर The forest is the pivot around which Uttam's entire community revolves. Forest is their provider, their goddess. It is to protect this forest that Uttam's morning mission begins. Goga bala sabe ke ye jao chhat chhara bu. Se gale ni sabu jangalu ta hangu ko ko. Dhari ai ka katu ka katu tanga chhare ra ki jahal kari ba. With a steely determination on her face, she sets out to the forest. Her task is to catch the poachers, punish them, and prevent the plunder of her forest. जंगल Uttam, however, is not alone in this mission. She is actively supported by her sisters in the community in her Denga Jari village, who together form the Goda Dehi Mahila Samiti, the women's committee formed to protect the forest. अनुसार आम पाई कर चार जनिया पांच जनिया जगेलु समय जो पाई करुचु चार जन पाई न कर पचास टाँह जोरीमाना दब हाँ तुम मिलूना कि हाँ कोहल तो कर दौन जंगल जगह से कोहल कर दौन तुम इमें तुम मानना मत ना तुम जंगल साहि धरिक आस भार नब नहीं पार नहीं एज अ मैटर अफ फैक्ट उत्तम नायक समिति is also not alone in this task across the eastern indian state of orissa thousands of such forest protection committees exist this is an integral part of the hori culture of orissa in nagar district itself 1037 villages today protect several square kilometers of contiguous patches of forest i'm many day i'm a आम जंगल आम अधिकार अच्छे आम जगार हकदार है आम जंगल आमर आम कह नाई जंगल जंगल नहीं आम निजे जगह निजे सब कथा पाइबार तुंगा करुआ मसीहा आउ का डांग पतर शिड़ी पतर शालुआ पतर सब भी आम पाई अड़ुंगा आउ महू एरा सब आम निजे अनुभव करजे मिस आणिक वंचित हो Such a sophisticated structure has now moved into an extremely scientific management system. Dinga Jhari, Uttam's village is a fine example of this system. They have even zoned their forest, each zone catering to a different purpose. जंगल जगवे आम भी काठ बाउंस कि जंगल जगवे काठ नई बाउंस गोजी जबत जिन भी मिल पार डुंगा कड़वा भी मिलूँ फलमूल जिन भी मिलूँ शिड़ी पतर भी आम तोलिक आने की खाली सिले आम सब जिन सुविधा नष्ट कौन आम तोल नष्ट कहीं हम हाणिले सीना गच नष्ट सी तो डंक भाई आराम मारी थो जमी भिड़ा उटक कर पतर तोला हम आम सच अ मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम एंड इयर्स ऑफ प्रोटेक्शन हैज सीन द फॉरेस्ट ब्लूम इनटू इट्स फुल पोटेंशियल ऑफरिंग डाइवर्स स्पीशीज एंड वंडरफुल ग्रीनरी The protection of this beautiful forest therefore became a very special concern of the community especially women For months and years they reflected upon the kind of problems they were confronting in safeguarding the forest
किए पूरा मुंडिया भितर भितर से बाहर सुन खुलरे खुलरे आसी की कुड़ा साइड की ताको को जगी देले से क्वाड जिबे वो से खुलिया देले से नाइट मीटिंग्स दे वुड डिस्कस द प्रॉब्लम्स possible solutions and strategies to be adopted mora ipote padda ta rahi jauti holi ki mo dhara pauni nole diyanti tanga anu tumme ta asi amo area ro patra ne ki jiwa ame kwadi jibu amo jangala ame de na jagu ju amo jangala ujoli jauti ase manu ko karbe se ta tanga bosa khai na chanda khai jangalu ko udai dele ame jagi ba jage pahalo anchal bhalo rahila Uttam Nayak does not have the luxury of spending all her time patrolling the forest. Being a poor person, she has to think of her own. She owns a small one-acre farm and she has to take care of her family's food needs by working on it. It is the same with others in her community. They harvest rice from their small farms, process them at home, and fulfill their food needs. जहाँ अच्छी माने दिमाने जहाँ अच्छी है तो ना धानों धानों करों होते हैं मुगो के तले बोन होते हैं यहाँ होती है वो. For the rest of their food and livelihood requirements, Uttam and her community have to depend upon the forest. The vast forest canopy stretches a protective umbrella over Uttam and her community. It is not just a physical roof over their head, but also a psychological and cultural roof. Am I ready to go? Am I going to go to the house? 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 के विवाह दे गला ताकू भी हम काठ तो से आसी कहबे आ सभा दे माउसी की नन्ने आ काठ जने मते दियो मु विवाह करबे की मेला उत्सव करबे हम भी छाडु छु इन द वार्म एम्ब्रेस ऑफ द फॉरेस्ट द कम्युनिटी फाइंड्स इट्स सेफ्टी इन टर्न द कम्युनिटी कंसीडर्स इट्स सेक्रेट ड्यूटी टू प्रोटेक्ट द फॉरेस्ट हम काठ खंड करले में जाया पाई हम पाउनो आकर पाई हम डकर बाबू छु It is a symbiotic relationship that is sacred to thousands of women in this region who together safeguard their forest. Ye gose hanke e bhalo lako tumi ta tumi bhalo lako sob acho ei ta basu duale aso ei thi ta kadi ba kadi ba dei aso Women like Uttam who live this relationship stand tall in their community. The hardcore conservation paints people as the obstacle in conservation. People against nature in a perennial conflict. But the Odisha communities alter this portrayal and show what communities are capable when left to their own initiatives and leadership. People have equal if not more passion towards the nature around them. They do not need bureaucratic structures and strictures to engage in conservation. They want an enabling environment and an appreciation of their efforts. That would pave the way for a vibrant and sustainable community-led conservation.